Editors are sometimes remarkably naive about these things, but I think they really should look into these things. And when a negative report is conspicuously without substance, they should ask the referee to clarify it. This is has a new dimension now that global warming is a political issue. Uh, things become politically incorrect. And in the United States, at least, we have cases of good solid research on global warming being refused for publication because somebody has made up his mind that that isn't the way it is and you can't publish. Uh, I think this is not only unfortunate for the author, it's unfortunate for the country and the world as a whole because this is a problem we had better get straight so we know what to do. Finally, I think after more than a year of, of waiting, we got the paper published in the Royal Society. At the end of this journey, I can now say with great confidence, yes, we have found a very beautiful solution to the cloud mystery. And what remains a mystery is when the rest of the climate community will understand that far greater powers are controlling the climate from the outside. The sun affects climate here on Earth. The Milky Way affects climate here on Earth. And if you want to understand what's going on, we have to take uh, these factors into account. It's beautiful because uh, instead of us living here in this uh, isolated planet, we are part of this uh, galactic ecosystem. We are witnessing what's going on uh, around us. These ideas are showing that the Earth is no longer just an isolated little island floating around in the universe. We are part of the big universe and the processes that are going on there, like star formation on the long time scales, uh, or changes in the solar activity will all affect the Earth's climate. And it can have very large changes in the Earth's climate because of this. <laughs>